Hi everyone, welcome back to Xcoding with Alvian. In this video, we are going to add native macOS and Ubuntu Linux desktop support to an existing Flutter News Windows app. We have built this app from scratch in the previous video tutorial. So if you are interested, please click the link that I provided at the description below. So with Flutter 3.x release, now building desktop apps using Flutter for macOS, Ubuntu Linux, and Windows is now stable. So without further ado, let's begin and start coding. First, let's add the macOS support to our Flutter News app. So here, navigate to this GitHub repository that I provided at the description. So this is the Flutter Axia News project that we were building in the previous video. So we were using Windows to build this using Flutter 2.10. The first thing that we need to do is just to clone this here using SSH and just navigate to the terminal. I'm going to clone it in my documents folder. Git clone and then press it. We'll clone this. And let's navigate to the folder. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you are using Flutter 3.x release. As you can see, I'm using Flutter 3.0.4. So if you're still using Flutter 2, make sure you type Flutter upgrade. Okay. It will download and install the latest Flutter 3.x release. So after you uh, clone this repository, the next thing is we need to if you see here, we haven't had any support for building on macOS and Linux. So to add that, just type flutter create and then this dot. This will generate the macOS and Linux folder. So Linux and building flutter app for Linux and macOS is now stable within the flutter 3.x release. Okay. And now we have the folder there's one library that we need to update to successfully build so previously we were using fluent ui for our ui component right so we are using 3.10.3 we need to update this to 3.12.0 okay and let me save this i'm using nano for the text editor but you can use visual studio code if you want okay we have updated the Fluent UI, so it should be able to build successfully using Flutter.3.x. So the next thing that we need to do is for Mac OS, we need to enable some flag in Xcode to enable outgoing internet connection. So as we are going to fetch data from news API, we have to enable that flag. So I'll navigate to Mac OS folder and just open runner dot xc workspace okay this will open it in xcode and here click this runner click signing and capabilities and check this outgoing connections client in the backend profile as well is in release okay this will enable the outgoing connections close this let's get back now we can build just type flutter run release so let's just build and run in release mode okay it will ask what uh, the device that we are going to use so let me use mac os right this will be native uh, native uh, mac os app so it will running run the port install download all the dependencies let's wait for it so actually, if you have encountered encounter some issue when running this pod install and you are using Apple Silicon MacBook, just make sure you open this terminal using Rosetta, okay? It's very simple to do that. You just need to find the terminal and check the open with Rosetta, okay? Still building. Let's wait for it. Okay, it's just fully built and run the app. Wow, this is nice. 
This is a native macOS app. The UI is using Google Sky Engine. Nice. Wow. So actually, if you take a look, right, we didn't modify any source code. It just works, right? The app that we built on Windows is now able to run on macOS without any modification to the source code. We just update the library, right? That Flame UI to make it compatible for Flutter 3.x. Okay, nice. Everything works here. If you see, clicking this will open it browser, send this, copying the URL, the password, send it uh, via mail. If you see here, open browser. So it actually opened the page in browser. If you see here, let me move this. Okay. Nice. So that's it for building the macOS desktop app for the Xenius Flutter. So now let's move on to building the app on Linux, right? To do that, we have we are going to use this app called UTM. So you can get this app from the App Store as well. This will enable you enable virtualization. That's actually you can just download. Ubuntu desktop image and then install it to this virtual machine. Install it as a virtual machine, okay? So I uh, already installed it. So here I'm using Ubuntu desktop 22, the latest one. So the first thing that we need to do is just the same, right? We just need to open terminal, clone the repository. Let me go to documents and on this again okay uh, sorry to git clone it will clone this you have to also me send okay just so click on not yet you have to also install flutter in ubuntu in linux you can follow the installation guide in here and to enable building the native uh, Ubuntu Linux application, you need to install these dependencies. Actually, just copy and paste this, and then run it in the your terminal in Linux. It will download all the dependencies, CLang, CMake, GTK, and others. Okay. It asked me for the password. Okay. Then we have this. We have Flutter installed. Okay, Flutter for Flutter 3.1.0. Okay, this is the pre-alpha one. Okay, but it's still 3.x release. And same in here, we need to update that Flam UI to 3.12.0. Okay. Okay, and now let's add linux folder using flutter create okay if you see here it's going to add the linux folder and make os okay nice now it's going to be we don't need to add that kind of permission similar to the mac os in ubuntu the outgoing connection will just work okay you just need to run flutter run release okay building linux application let's wait hmm amazing it successfully runs this app in on linux without any source code modification wow this is this is amazing let's change the categories to technology wow okay if you see here we have the app on macOS native running natively support both x60 x86 and arm and also here using ubuntu okay so let me resize this when i resize it asked me to log in again okay nice amazing so this is it for this short video 
So yeah, building application using Flutter not now enable us to build a mobile app. It now enables us to build app for any screens, whether it's desktop, mobile, or web. It just works. So that's it for this video. Please like this video if you like it and subscribe if you want more videos from this channel and support me. So until the next one, let's keep on being a lifelong learner and goodbye.